Thank you very much. It's a special broadcast this evening. I'm joined. I'm joined from Ahmedabad by the man who has been suspended from the police service today by the Gujarat government. Senior police officer Sanjeev Bhatt is speaking out on television for the first time. Sanjeev, welcome. And let me introduce Sanjeev Bhatt for our viewers who may not have seen him before. He has not made too many television appearances. In fact, this is one of his rare TV interviews. He's fighting a battle against the Narendra Modi government and Narendra Modi himself in the Supreme Court. He has filed affidavits which make grave charges against Narendra Modi. Among others, Sanjeev Bhatt has argued that he was present at a meeting in which Narendra Modi asked his officers to allow the violence to continue at the height of the riots towards the end of February 2002. Today he's on air a few hours after he's been suspended from service. Thank you, Sanjeev, for coming. I know that whatever you would be saying today, I am sure the Gujarat government and Mr. Narendra Modi will be listening on very carefully. I first must ask you, when did you get news that you had been suspended and how do you react to your suspension from service? I don't know, but I learned about this last night at around 10.15. I was away in a meeting somewhere when my wife called up that about 30, 40 people had surrounded my house and they wanted to serve this order. So my wife just called me and asked me whether she should take the order. I said, yeah, please accept the order. And that's when I came to know of the suspension order. And yeah, this was expected. 30 or 40 people came to give a suspension order? Yes, yes. My house was entirely surrounded by plain clothes men and uniformed policemen. These are the kind of coercive tactics the government adopts. And this was an expected move, or not? These are desperate acts of a desperate government. You feel, Nothing new. You feel that you are being persecuted because for raising your voice against Narendra Modi because the state DGP says your suspension is only a disciplinary issue. He, he says that you disobey everyone, that you even disobey the DGP, that you don't listen to anyone. And he had to set an example to other officers. And the DGP says your removal has nothing to do with Narendra Modi or your affidavit against Modi. I don't know why. I fully agree that this is about setting examples, yes. They want to set examples to other officers, to other witnesses that no one should speak out, no one should even dare to speak out against the Modi administration. So it is about setting examples. I, I cannot agree more on that. You have also been accused of a number of things and I hope today you will give me an opportunity to ask you a few direct questions. Sanjeev, my first question to you is, Please. everyone wants to know yeah. one thing from you. Where were you? For seven years, I am told that you you actually spoke out in 2009 before the SIT. Why were you silent for seven years, and where were you all this while? How do we how do we trust the fact that you know you had no motivation for being silent and no motivation for breaking your silence? I don't know. As I explained in my affidavit, which I filed in the month of April 2011. I was an intelligence officer from 1999 to 2002. So I was privy to a whole lot of intelligence information about all that happened in 2002. Now, in 2009, November, that is the first time when I was called upon by any agency to come and depose about the facts which I knew about 2002. So at the very first instance, the first opportunity when I was called, I disclosed everything to the SIT. So it is for the government to answer, just for the Nanavati Commission to answer as to why I was not called. Whereas my reports were part of all the affidavits submitted by Mr. J. C. Raiger or Mr. R. B. Shrikumar or by Mr. Chakravarti before the Nanavati Commission. No, but so number the of questions. Commission should have thought no, it fit number to call of, me. Number of questions are raised about your motives. Uh, many people say, Sanjeev, that you are just a proxy for the anti-Modi group, that you are pushing their agenda. In fact, there is a trail of emails 
that shows, I am told, that you have been in touch with the anti-Modi lobby, including the Congress party people. You know, there have been Tista Setalwad and other human rights activists, other activists and others. So, is it appropriate for a police officer to be in touch with political lobbies? I don't know, but I've been in touch with Tista Setalwad. I've been in touch with other activists like Shabnam Hashmi. I've been in touch with the leader of opposition in Gujarat on a couple of occasions. And I don't see any impropriety in this. We are all on the same side of the law. All of us are fighting for justice in Gujarat. All of us are fighting for truth in Gujarat. No, but you, you don't have anything to hide. No, but, but you have also gone beyond the call and nature of your duty. You see, you're a police officer. Now, another charge is put against you that you resorted to hacking to obtain emails on the basis of which you have now filed an affidavit. And that in itself is a huge offense. You have a case against you I today know, I would suggest, for hacking. I would suggest that you kindly go through my petition as well as my additional affidavit. I have clearly explained as to how I came across the emails, as to how I chose to monitor the emails and as to how I chose to secure how I chose to secure this very important piece of evidence which discloses the criminal complicity of not only very high judicial officers but also constitutional office bearers of the state and the chief minister's office and other highly placed officials within and without the government. No, but do you... It is not a case of hacking. No, are you saying that you hacked these emails for intelligence purposes? I am saying I did not hack his email. Mr. You Tushar accessed Mata his email. Gave me access. He gave me access to his email account. He is a friend for the last 25 years. Now, when I was going through his mailbox in the year 2009, September, I came across a couple of mails, as I pointed out in my affidavit, which were very alarming. Mails from the SIT Godera case's official ID to Tushar Mehta. Now, it was my belief, as it was then and as it is now, that the SIT had no business to transact emails with Tushar Mehta. So that alerted me that something is very wrong, there is a leak. And as it happened, I was called by the very same SIT in 2009 November. But, but Tushar, so you, you, if, he, if he's your friend, no, no, if he's your friend, you must also yeah. look at his, his argument. Huh. Now, I want you to give me proof today. You see, because... What proof? Tell me. I'll tell you the proof that I seek from you, which can settle this yeah. matter. The Gujarat Additional Solicitor General Tushar Mehta's defense against you is mm -hmm. that both these mails mm -hmm. sent one on September 14th and I think another on the same date, which is 2009, that these pertained that right. to status reports on the preliminary inquiry and investigation done in an entirely different case. The 2005 Sorabuddin oh, Sheikh Kosarbi fake is. encounter case that it has nothing to do with the Godhra case. Now, I haven't accessed that email. No, no, listen is, to me. I haven't accessed yeah. that email. No, I haven't opened mails, the attachment. These mails. I know there's an attachment called SIT. How do I know that attachment right. no, is about the Godhra case and not, not the, not the <laughs> Sorabuddin Sheikh case? I don't know there are two attachments. One mail contains an attachment by the name of Sorab. That is what we can read in the attachment list. And second is preliminary report. My basic question is, that SIT Godra cases had no business to correspond with Tushar Mehta. That is the very basic thing. So that is what alerted me that there is something wrong here, something amiss. No, but how do I know and the that mail? That is why I started. No, how, how do I know the mail relates oh, it, to Godra? How do I know that the Gujarat government huh. was accessing SIT reports related to Godra? Godra. Around that is immaterial as to what it pertains to. What matters is subsequently, there are mails from an ID called special team at gujarat.gov.in. Special team. Right. Now, these are mails which carry nine reports, secret reports, which had been handed over by the SIT to the court and from the court to the government. Now, these reports are sent by the special team from an ID specialteam.gov.in gujaratgov.in to Mr. Tushar Mehta and Mr. G.C. Murmu and they in turn send these mails 
to the advocates of the accused. So this what's is all a part of my affidavit. How do you explain this? Now these emails. So one has to go through the entire gamut of emails. No, no. See, it is not. See, it is not just two emails. When Tushar Mehta came out with his defence, five, six page rejoinder, he was not aware of the 700 pages of uh, mails which we filed in the additional affidavit. So his entire defence, his entire statement of uh, defence was based on the two mails which were referred to in my written. Now petition. here's another we argument. Said in the here's petition, another. Here's yeah. another point, Sanjeev. Yeah, carry on. You see. Yeah. You now, who you are in touch with? will also reflect hmm. your motive. Now, these emails yeah, reveal yeah. a few disturbing things that could lead people to question your motives. For example, please ask there me, is please a charge ask against yeah, you. I'm ask asking me. you, the charge against yeah. you yeah. is that you are in touch, you have been in touch with the Gujarat Congress State President Arjun Modwadia, with the leader of the opposition, Sak hmm. Shakti Singh Gohit, the, and that yeah. you procure documents and in fact, it was also mentioned a BlackBerry phone from Goet. Would it be incorrect mm -hmm. to conclude that you were in some kind of a cozy arrangement with these people and therefore that you oh. are being used as a political tool against Narendra Modi? Arunab, this is 2011 Gujarat. No communication is safe here. All my phones are tapped. My email IDs are hacked. And the same would be true for so many other officers. The same would be true for politicians. Same would be true for the leader of opposition. Now, the leader of opposition is a constitutional office bearer under the scheme of things of the Indian Constitution. Now, my corresponding with him, like I know Shakti Singh Gohal long before he joined politics no, and no. long before I joined the police. No, 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 no. Please no, no, listen no, no. to me. Yes. Now, if I need... No, see, this, if you please go through my emails, it talks about Shakti Singh sending me certain Packages. documents Packages. which he has pertaining to the Gujarat Raya. Yeah. No, no, no. no you, it mentioned in one see, of the emails... Just those no, mails. in one These of the emails. Series of no, no, five, in one of the emails. Uh, yeah, yes, one? the package is documents. Sanjeev, here yeah, this. See, there are two packages. One is a BlackBerry phone. One is a BlackBerry phone. As I said, we needed a secure channel of communication. If I needed to communicate something with no, Shakti no, Singh Gohil, which was not heard into by the Gujarat government, then we thought the only safest mean was so, corresponding by BlackBerry well, Messenger. So you, Even that is not safe in Gujarat. No, I, know. Sec, sec, sec. I, I want to, In one of the yeah, emails yeah. with Gohil, you share details of an affidavit you had filed before the SIT. So you see what's happening here. Sir. No, one no, minute, no. one minute, one minute. One. Let me complete. No, I have not shared details of any affidavit. No, I have not. You add, you add that a backgrounder and an additional note quote unquote additional yeah, the note backgrounder sent, sent by him yeah he has sent me a backgrounder and an additional, additional note. note and also so i go through that and tell him that yeah also that makes is what a reference sent by to, him to me also makes a reference to your eagerly awaiting both the packages yes and the so blackberry one <laughs> now my question to you Let is me, this. no 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 take my question yeah. now take my tell question me. now my tell question me. to you is this sanjeev see i yeah must just ask you a very direct question you are a police officer Please. in the government service. You are not only interacting with activists and others. You have to have some faith in the legal process. You put your statement in 2009. You were called in for your statement in 2011. The matter is sub -judice. In the meantime, you are in touch, active touch with the Congress leaders and the leader of the opposition. You say they are your friends. You and the Congress leaders are working together on putting a case together on the points on the affidavit that is being filed before the SIT. Are you therefore by conclusion the not, not part of a Congress of a political yeah. assault? Not an individual assault? Not at all. Political not assault at all, on Modi? Not at all. The leader of opposition, Shakti Singh Gohil, who himself happens to be an advocate, he wanted to send me some background material which he had on the Godra riots, on certain investigations. So it was always welcome. Any information from any quarter which could bring justice, which could help in the delivery of justice was welcome. It is even welcome today. The purpose is to ensure that justice is delivered. Here in Gujarat, we have a system where there is complete subversion of the criminal justice system by the state, complete manipulation so of so many judicial... No, no. 
officers of the state you 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 so do you i am open to getting information from anywhere no, because i am the conduit of information to the sit you to do. the amicus to the courts yeah you, you do admit therefore so that, that is my duty as a police officer congress to leaders you do admit